Hey guys, welcome back to another Squarespace tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about creating a mega menu on Squarespace. So right now I'm running the Brian uh, template, but this will work on any of the Brian family templates, although you can uh, modify the code slightly to work with any template. And I've tested with two or three, so it does work. Um, so here's what it would look like. So when you hover, it'll look like this. And you can add multiple columns. You can have two or one or four, uh, however much you want. And you can reduce the spacing and customize it pretty much exactly how you want. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so how this um, works is we're basically going to build out a regular menu first. Um, so for example, I have, I just called it mega menu, but you can call it whatever you'd like. And then you're just going to build it out how you want it to appear on mobile, because obviously the mega menu isn't going to work on mobile, um, just because there isn't enough width on a mobile screen. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. So add all your links that you want in here. Um, you know, you can, it's just going to be like a regular menu on mobile. So if somebody's, for example, here and they click, uh, whatever the menu is called, all of it will be listed here. So that's just like, you know, normal Squarespace. So build it out how you want. And then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the footer and where it says footer top locks, that's what I'm using. Um, and the code is going to reflect that too, but you can use uh, footer middle or footer bottom. And if your um, template doesn't have different footer levels, then you will need to customize uh, the code that I provide. Um, not a lot, just um, enough that you can target it kind of better. Um, and I'll explain that uh, maybe later on or in the comments if you guys have any questions. Um, and again, the code for this tutorial is also going to be uh, listed in the description as well. So what I did is I went to footer top blocks. So again, if you hover lower, it's the middle. And bottom, it says bottom right here. So we're going to go to top and then click edit. And you're going to build this out exactly how you want. So, you know, I added a heading three, another heading three. I added, I just typed out, for example, home. So you could do like, you know, if you have a blog too, um, maybe you want to add blog at the end. So instead of hitting, like if you hit enter, it'll give you two lines. So if I do, for example, blog, if you don't want it to be two lines, just hold down shift and hit enter. And then we're going to link this to, you know, just a regular blog, I guess. So let's just do that and we'll hit apply. Um, so let's say this is how I want it to look. You know, I added a button. You could have four columns in here. You just, you know, click here. You could add a text block, drag it over to the left. And this will be column one, for example. Um, I wouldn't really go over four just because everything's going to get, you know, a little bit cramped. Um, so keep it at four if possible. Um, I'm going to keep it at three. Um, I, and the other thing is, when you upload an image here, just don't upload a large image. Uh, what I did is I actually resized this image to be, I believe, 100 pixels in height. So you could go, you know, a little bit bigger if you want, but Squarespace won't like make it the image bigger than what you have it. So I kept it at 100. So it's always going to appear at 100 at the biggest. Um, so since I have it already built out, I don't have too much to do now. Now I just have to add in the code. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the code and then I'll explain it so you can change it as needed. So for the JavaScript, we're going to go over to settings, advanced code injection. And then I'm just going to copy the code. I have it on a different screen here. But again, this will be linked in the description. I'm going to paste it. What uh, this code does is it moves this up to the top. But again, it's going to look pretty ugly until we actually style it. So yeah, as you can see, it looks very ugly. So let's go back. And then back again, and then we're going to go to design custom CSS and I'm going to copy this code, which again, you'll, it'll be in the description, hit save. So once you do that, it looks like this. Okay. Now, if yours isn't working, don't worry, you have to modify the code. So what we'll do is first things first, we're going to go to the first code that we added. So settings, advanced code injection, and we're going to take a look at this. So the first line, all we're doing is um, adding the jQuery uh, file so we can actually use jQuery on the website. And then we're going to actually use jQuery right here. So that's why that is link is there. Um, next, what it's going to do is when the website's loaded, it's going to look for header, well, all of this basically. And then it's going to look for the fourth item, which is a folder. So we're going to look for the fourth. And then uh, we're going to append footer blocks top. So what that does is it takes footer blocks top and adds it into the folder that we already had here. So the only thing you might have to change is this number four, unless you're on a different template, then you might have to change a few of these classes depending on what class your template uses. Um, for everybody else on the Brian family, you just have to change this number. 
Uh, for me, the mega menu is the fourth item. So one, two, three, four. So I have four in here. And just to show you what would happen if you had it as a third item, for example. So let's say I had mega menu and then the blog. So mega menu goes here. If I try it now, it just shows me my default menu, the one that I made over here. So courses and our pages. So what we have to do is we have to go back into settings, advanced, code injection, and then here it's no longer the fourth item, it's now the third item. So we're gonna just change this to three. And I'm just gonna leave it at three because that way I can show you uh, the rest of the code. So now you'll see it looks ugly, but it is working. So that means we have to modify the CSS because that has to do with styling. So now we're gonna go to design, custom CSS, and then right here, if you notice, it says four again, but we did move it to the third spot. So I'm going to type in three instead. And then also over here where it says uh, nth child four, change it to three. And then here, nth child four, change it to three. And that should be it. And there we go. So it's in the third spot now. So now to style this, let me explain how this code works now. So I'm going to right click on mega menu and I'm just going to make it so that it always stays there just so you can see the changes without me having to hover. So I'm just going to go to right here where it says header nav item and it's a span. I'm going to click on hover. Oh, and to get here, you actually just right click on mega menu and click on inspect. And then when it comes up, you just go up to the span right here and you'll see when I click on span, it highlights up at the top here in green, blue, and orange. So I'm going to, hover here, then go to hover and I'm going to turn on hover. So that basically makes it think that I'm hovering over it, even when I'm not. And when I refresh the page, this, this won't happen anymore. So it's just, it's just a testing mechanism. Um, so now what I'm going to do is so for width, so you see how mine right now goes almost full width, but there's some space on the sides. So that's because I have it set to 90% of the width. So 90% of the screen size. So I could set it to hundred if I want. Um, I could even set it to, you know, smaller. Let's say I only want 60%. I could do this. So it's 60%. Um, now the other thing you have to do is if you want to move it, you know, left or right, that's right here. So right now I had it at left to five because I had 90. So I wanted five on the left, five on the right. So if I do 60, I probably want 20 on the left and 20 on the right. So it adds up to hundred. So 20 on the left and that would center it. Now you'll see it's kind of off because mega menu is over here. Um, this would work if your mega menu uh, navigations at the center, but since is since ours is on the um, right hand side here, we're actually going to click on left and we're going to move it a little bit more to the right. So maybe we'll do 40. So it goes to the right of, of the screen. So we could do that. Um, we could even go a little bit less just so there is some space on the side. So 35. So that's 35% um, percent of space over here. Then we have 60% of this, then another five over here and then top 60 pixels. So that's, let's say you have a really big font size and this is kind of running over top. So let me show you what it looks like. So top 60, let's say I had it at zero. So this is what it would by default look like. So we want to move it down um, just so it's sitting just below our, our uh, menu option. So let's go top 30. Okay. We have to go a little bit more. What did I have before? 60. Okay. So 60 is a good good size. We could go maybe 50 it's too, too low. Um, let's try 65. Yep. 65 also works. Um, so let's do 65. Um, just so there's some space over here. So that's what this first bit of code does. It's basically just positioning this entire block. Um, so we have, you know, we're fixing it to the top of the screen, the width of the, the blocks, um, how much space there is above it. So 65 pixels. Um, don't worry about Z index. That's just used to hide um, the menu so that it only appears when you hover. Um, so negative two basically puts it behind, you know, this green and this white so that nobody can see it. And then what we're going to do is come down here. So what this does is if somebody clicks or sorry, not even clicks, some, if somebody hovers, so hover on the word mega menu, which is the third item, then we're going to take the Z index and make it four. So before it was negative two, so it was behind everything. Now we're making it four, so it's in front of everything. Um, so when somebody hovers here, it brings this to the front. And then what this code does is, you know how by default we had um, our, our regular menu, which was, I think we had like our courses and home or something in there um, that we made for mobile. So this right here, uh, mega menu. So 
courses and our pages. Yeah. So that menu, we're basically just hiding that because I mean, we don't want to show, we just want to show our mega menu. Um, then the final bit is, um, getting rid of the border at the bottom. So you see how if I, oh, and sorry, this is only sticking because I have it. I have this set to hover. Um, so on a footer, if I actually go to, for example, middle and I put in text and I make it a link. What will happen by default is it'll get underlined, right? And I don't want it to be underlined, especially when we have it up in the mega menu. And the other thing I'm doing is you see how it's like very cramped up. I want to space it out more. That's why I'm changing the line height. So line height of two instead of um, it was probably one or something before. So if you want even more space, uh, let me just stick this again. So if you want even more space, you can do like 2.5 and you'll see the spacing between these grow. You can go, you know, three. So yeah, you can play around with that. Find the number that works for you. Um, and this just removes that um, bottom border that it had before, which is the underline. Um, then the final thing you probably want to change is the color. So right now I have it set as gray. Um, that you actually just go to site styles. So design and then site styles. We're going to type in folder. So folder color. So we're going to have it black. If you want to change the color of the text, you have to go to footer content and then links, and you can change it to like white. And then on mobile, sorry, on tablet, again, it looks like this. So this is because we had the 60% width, but um, you might want to increase it. You'll have to use a media query if you want it to be skinny on uh, desktop and then big on mobile. So let's go, or on tablet, sorry. So let's go, let's hover this. And so where I had 60% width, I might want to make it, for example, 70. And then I also have to move it left because now that's 70, it's probably about 15 to the left. Um, yep. And we can even go maybe 80. There we go. Just so that's at the top. So 80 plus 5 on the side, 15 on the left. Uh, maybe I'll pull it left a little bit more. So 10 on the left. And then now it's kind of like centered so 80 plus 10 on the left 10 on the right is 100 so it's exactly centered um, and on desktop it looks like this and then if I unhover it it'll go away and then we'll just take a quick look at what it looks like on mobile so on mobile it should go back to yeah mega menu and then it's just your regular menu um, that's just again because there's no room um, for any mega menus on mobile so make sure you build out that uh, initial navigation properly. So again, that's in pages. So here, just make sure this is built up properly. So on mobile, they, you know, they don't have a broken experience. They, they can still access all the pages. And the final thing is if you ever want to make changes to that menu, um, what you have to do is you have to go to settings, advanced code injection and take this out. You can leave the other parts in. Um, the other thing you can do is just comment it out, which is like this. So it's, um, less than then exclamation mark hyphen hyphen and then hyphen hyphen greater than at the bottom and that comments it out so it doesn't do anything and then that way you have the footer at the bottom again then you just click edit make the changes you want um, so let's say for example i don't want this image anymore i'll hit save then i'll just uncomment this out again so now it's going to execute again so the code will work so now if i go to the very top there you go the image is gone and yeah, that's how you make a mega menu on Squarespace, guys. Have a great day.